What is the best recording program, Logic Pro X or Pro Tools? Today, I just wanted to break down some of my thoughts. You know, I, I the first DAW I ever used, DAW is Digital Audio Workstation, and it's a computer software to record stuff in. The first DAW I ever used was Logic Pro X, and I really liked it. I took, um, I went to school, university for uh, drums, and we worked in Logic the most, and then after Logic, I used Ableton a lot, and I used Ableton for a lot of live tracks and backing tracks and all that stuff. So I was really familiar with those two DAWs, and it wasn't until this past year that I started using Pro Tools. Um, now, why I started using Pro Tools is because a lot of the producers I work with all use Pro Tools, so that made my life easier. And what I'll say before I look into any of the specifics of, you know, kind of my takeaways after a year of using Pro Tools is sometimes whatever's easiest is what you should do. Uh, if everyone you work with uses Ableton, but you think that Pro Tools is better, you know, you're paying a cost. If you're always sending projects, if you're always having to bounce everything out of your project to send to them because they don't use the same DAW, Sometimes, even though maybe you prefer one over the other, your life will be made a lot simpler if you just have Pro Tools instead of Ableton or whatever people work with. So I work with a lot of producers in Nashville and outside of Nashville that all use Pro Tools. So having the ability to track something in Pro Tools and then just send them the session and not have to export anything out makes a big difference. So sometimes it's totally situational. I, you know, I don't want to give too much away, but Sometimes the situation is more important than the actual features of the DAW because it'll make your life easier if you use what everybody else you work with is using. So all that aside, let's jump into the four things that I found over the last year working between Pro Tools and Logic. So number one, and this is actually a huge reason why I switched over to Pro Tools is not only was I working with a lot of producers that used Pro Tools, but Pro Tools also has this thing called Beat Detective. So Beat Detective is uh, Pro Tools's, you know, kind of onboard way that you can beat detective, you can quantize audio. And, you know, a lot of people talk about, you know, oh, you know, I never want to be quantized or whatever. But in today's modern music world, there are producers I work with that they quantize everything, period. It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how cool what you play is, they quantize stuff. And I think as a drummer now, when you're making your own drum tracks and sending them to people, it's really important to have the ability to edit and not necessarily grid every single note to the grid, but it, it's really important to have the ability to edit your own drum parts. And I think that after working in Logic Pro X for a long time and in Pro Tools, I think that Pro Tools wins this one. Beat Detective is amazing, and just in general, editing and moving audio around in Pro Tools is just far better. It's way superior. Pro Tools is just so much easier to, you know, edit and crossfade and everything that has to do with editing audio and gridding audio. I think Pro Tools just wins this one a little bit. So that's kind of my first thought is Pro Tools definitely wins because of Beat Detective. Uh, Logic's equivalent of Beat Detective is Flex Time, and Flex Time, I don't like Flex Time in Logic because it's really hard to edit audio. So when you're moving audio and you have drums, which are, you know, 10 to 15 different microphones, when you start editing those things, if everything doesn't move at the same time, you start having phase issues. And Logic Pro X with flex time is notorious for causing phase issues, and there are workarounds for it, but I just find that, you know, I don't want to have to find a workaround to do something really basic that I do for every session I do at home. I want to have that ability built in and easy to use, and I think Pro Tools hands down wins editing audio and gridding and quantizing and making sure that when you're editing audio, everything is phase locked and you don't have any phase issues created by the edits you're making. So that's number one, Beat Detective, editing audio. I think Pro Tools is much better. But number two is the biggest difference I noticed between Pro Tools and Logic is mixing. And does, does one actually sound better? And while I don't think either of these programs sound Literally, when you record raw audio into it, I don't think anything sounds better or worse in either of these DAWs. I don't think that the DAW actually colors the sound to a level that I can notice. But what I did notice is that I think Logic is so much better at mixing for two reasons. One, Logic comes with much better stock plugins. 
Um, plugins are things like EQ and compressors and DSers and reverbs and all of that stuff. I think Logic, the plugins that Logic provides stock with the program right, right when you download it are so much better and so much easier to use than Pro Tools. Pro Tools offers plugins, but in my opinion, they're not great. They're a little convoluted and hard to use. They give you almost too many options. And I just find that Logic's plugins are much quicker and easier to get things to sound better. And, you know, if you're using a compressor, that compressor has all the stuff that you need in front of you, not anything you don't need. It's not overcomplicated, and it's a little bit quicker and easier to get mixes to sound better in Logic. That's my personal opinion. You might love Pro Tools and love mixing in it. I do not. If you use third-party plugins like Waves or um, Steven Slate or any of that stuff, this doesn't matter quite as much, but I think that at the end of the day, the plugins that something provides kind of shows how much they care about the end user, and I think that you know Logic has really built in and really said, we want people to be able to buy this expensive software and get a good mix no matter what they spend elsewhere, and I think that Pro Tools is an expensive program that then, you know, I think that the plugins it comes with should be better for what you're paying for it as Pro Tools as a subscription-based program. I kind of would like them to add and kind of bolster those plugins they provide. The second part is not just the plugins, but simple, really simple things like when you're mixing. If you want to, if you want to, in Logic, if you want to bring, you have overheads that are on two separate channels and you want to bring those two channels of overheads down, all you have to do in Logic is highlight the two channels and then drag one of the faders and both of them come down. That doesn't exist in Pro Tools. You can't just highlight channels and drag them down. You have to create a group and then you have to you know, make sure that all the group settings are correct, and then you can maybe, if the group is enabled, you can drag those faders down. That, to me, just is a huge headache for doing a really simple thing like bringing two faders down at the same time. So because of the stock plugins and because of, you know, things like having to group stuff to make things work, I think that Logic is much easier and much better at getting a mix that sounds great quicker. Now the third difference, we've talked about Beat Detective and editing audio, which I think Pro Tools is a little bit better at. We've talked about number two is mixing and all of that stuff, and I think the stock plugins and the ease of mixing and Logic makes that better. But for three, setting stuff up, Logic wins big time here. I think Pro Tools is very, very complicated to get set up in. When I downloaded it, keep in mind, I've used Ableton before, I've used Logic for years, I've, I've used every DAW, and when I downloaded Pro Tools, it was so hard to figure out what key commands were what, what menu items I needed to do to select my interface, how to set up my ins and outs. It was just really, really complicated, and obviously I figured it out, uh, you know, I, I use it pretty much every day, but it was really complicated, and I find that, you know, it's a huge, huge, huge hassle to sometimes do kind of simple setup things in Pro Tools, because it is a very advanced program. It is for professionals, so there are a lot of options, but I feel like, you know, sometimes I don't, I, I'm never, do, you know, I'm only tracking drums. I'm not doing anything really more complicated than that, so I feel like I wish that a lot of setup and a lot of things were just a little bit more plug and play in Pro Tools and they aren't. And therefore, I think that Logic is the much, 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 much simpler way to go if setup, ease of setup and just plug and play readiness are key to you. I think Logic will be where you want to go for that stuff. Now, number four. So, so far we have Beat Detective, Pro Tools wins. Mixing, Logic wins. Setting stuff up, Logic wins. Number four is exporting audio, and obviously, so when you get done with your session, if you have to bounce out files, whether that's the master, you know, you've mixed it all and you want to bounce out a stereo mix of everything, or you want to send your drum tracks to someone and you need to bounce those out at WAV files, it's really important to be able to bounce stuff well, and I think that Pro Tools wins hands down. Pro Tools has an amazing ability to playlist things, and I know Logic has the equivalent I like Pro Tools and how it works with layouts of playlists and being able to, you know, edit those playlists, comp those playlists, and then when bouncing out, I think that Pro Tools has a lot more flexibility with how you can bounce things out, and it's just a little bit cleaner and a little bit better, you know. I don't like that logic, you know, oftentimes when I'm sending tracks to people, I don't want to bounce out 
drum tracks with a lot of processing on them because someone who's mixing and mastering this album, they're going to worry about that stuff. They want raw drum tracks from me. And because of that, sometimes in Logic, when you're bouncing stuff out, you have to remember to uncheck, you know, don't, no EQ and processing and all of that stuff. And I just find that Pro Tools is a little bit better at both because you can playlist stuff and because you can, you know, bounce out in a couple different ways. I think that Pro Tools is definitely the winner for ease of exporting audio and having that whole process be just less of a headache. Those are the four points. Those are the four biggest things I noticed between working with Pro Tools for the last year and Logic X before all of that. And who wins? What's better? I don't think there is a better one. Again, I think that if all the producers you work with use one DAW, you should maybe use that one because it's going to make working with those people the easiest. But I think in general, Pro Tools is definitely a little bit more complicated, a little, you have to be a little more computer savvy to use Pro Tools. And if, you know, gridding and exporting and all that stuff isn't really what you're doing and you're just kind of recording at home for yourself or for, you know, kind of not, not necessarily professional studio stuff, you just want to have the ability to record, go with Logic. It's got more than what you need and you'll be great. You'll be set and you can, if you need to, use it for very professional recording situations. I think Pro Tools, for me, it's easier to edit. It's easier to export. A lot of my producer friends use it. So that's what I'm going to use for a lot of my sessions. But when I'm recording these YouTube videos, I use Logic because I think it's just a little easier. I'm uploading to YouTube. It doesn't have to be a Grammy award winning, you know, whatever it's I'm uploading to YouTube so it's easier for me to mix in logic it's a little easier for me to get around so I use logic for YouTube but when I work with professional sessions and all that I use Pro Tools so I don't think either is better or worse additionally Pro Tools is a subscription logic is an upfront fee Pro Tools is a subscription base so if you use Pro Tools and you don't like it you can cancel the subscription um, you just have to buy an iLock so just factor in buying an iLock the final point I'll make is MIDI if you do a lot of MIDI go logic Pro Tools and how it uses and interacts with MIDI is not nearly as good as something like Ableton or logic so if MIDI is a huge part of what you do use logic you'll be fine so those are kind of my points. If you like this video, put it down in the comments, you know, kind of maybe something else you'd want to see about Pro Tools or Logic. If you have questions, put them down in the comments. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts, questions, concerns, and suggestions for future videos. If you like this video, you can also subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and that way you'll see all the videos I put out. I'm putting out new videos every week. And um, I think that's it. Uh, go record something, go use one of these programs, try it out. That's all. Um, I'll see you in the next lesson.